Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, July 2nd. And outside uh, the window this morning, you can see some pretty dark clouds as they continue to move off to the east. Scatter showers are still possible across far southeast lower Michigan into uh, uh, southwest Ontario this morning. But again, overall, these will dissipate and move out and we'll have lots of sunshine in return for the afternoon. It'll uh, be cooler and eventually drier. Still pretty muggy out there this morning as our highs will top out in the low to mid 80s. And again, for the second half of the week, though, more upper 80s to around 90, with the exception of Friday when the cold front moves through. But we'll have to watch. It still could be a warm day then. But I think we'll have a decent chance of showers and thunderstorms from Wednesday through Friday. And uh, again, lots of high humidity and dew points. Could even see heat advisories as we get into Wednesday or Thursday, uh, which uh, I think we'll see highs up around 90. Would not be surprised to see highs around 92, 93 degrees on those days. So very hot weather coming back. Not quite as bad as over the weekend, but still some more hot weather. Yesterday, we had a balmy high of 95 degrees in Breckenridge with a sticky overnight low of 75. And again, the highest temperatures yesterday, 98 degrees in Alpena, and they also hit 99 on Saturday. The lowest temperature, 50 degrees at Copper Harbor. As far as 90 degree days, you can see Jasper so far leading the way for the season with eight, a number of locations with seven or six days above 90 degrees so far. So a pretty warm summer so far. And if you look at the uh, current uh, conditions out there, you can see temperatures mainly in the 70s across the area, but you can see kind of where that cold front is extending through now, just uh, ready moving through the uh, Clarksville area, temperatures in the upper 60s behind the front and the warm spot over at Tupperville at 77 degrees this morning. On the satellite view, you can see uh, about where that front is. Until that area presses off to the southeast, it's going to remain quite muggy. And any of these white or colder cloud tops could produce some showers this morning. But the overall pattern is for those to dissipate as they move off to the east. And we'll have, again, high pressure with lots of sunshine for today and Tuesday. As far as the dew points, you can see where the uh, front has moved through the area now into the low to mid-60s versus uh, dew points in the 70s out ahead of that front now just coming through the Clarksville area here within the last few minutes as they were at 72 not too long ago. So again we'll see that drier air spread into the uh, region here later this morning. As far as the uh, radar you can see some of these dissipating areas of showers but again until that front moves through you can see some more pop up but they'll again eventually move off to the east. On the weather map this morning, that front now coming through the area, it'll bring the heaviest rains well off to the east. And again, most of the activity going to gather off to our west as we get under high pressure. And we're going to uh, remain quite warm and uh, fairly dry, though, for the next couple of days before the heat, humidity, and a chance of thunderstorms goes on the increase as we head towards Friday. You can see by tomorrow, most of these systems well off to our west. But finally, by Wednesday, we'll see the next system begin to slowly move this area. It's going to be fought off by high pressure. And the combination of the low to the west, the high to the east, will have a strong southwest wind once again develop. And that's going to bring warm to hot conditions into the state for the second half of the week with a lot of humidity and high dew points. As far as how much precipitation, again, the bulk of the uh, precipitation will fall during the uh, Wednesday through Friday time period, heaviest amounts to the southeast part of the area, lesser amounts. So up in this area, let's hope you get that precipitation because with these hot temperatures, things will dry out quickly. As far as severe weather this morning, again, the high, uh, the heat advisories and the excessive heat warnings now off to the east. But as we get towards Tuesday and Wednesday, you'll see those begin to build off to our southwest and move this way as we get towards Wednesday and Thursday. And we could see some heat advisories possible later on this week, but again, that's not a sure bet. For the forecast, uh, any scattered shower thunderstorms will move out of the area this morning. Our next chance of uh, showers and thunderstorms will be for Wednesday, Thursday, into very early Friday as it looks. Temperatures uh, today will be around 85, 86, 87 degrees, but lower humidities. And then we'll see the increase of humidity, especially once we get towards Wednesday and Thursday and Friday before a cold front moves through the area. And we'll have to watch uh, for the potential for some of these storms uh, Thursday night to be on the stronger, severe side. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.